Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial on the female walk cycle. So far, we've actually gotten her to walk. It's pretty exciting. She's got her legs moving, her arms are moving, and we actually even get her spine to move. She's got, she's walking in a straight line. We're going to fix a couple of things here on the foot. Uh, let me do a little something here. I'm going to go to my uh, render. I'm going to go to my options. And I'm going to go to screen ambient occlusion and enable. It's going to help a little bit with those contact shadows. It looks like she's floating and it's, it's kind of bothering me. So now at least she looks like she's landing. So let's go ahead and fix a couple of things. One is her feet. So as you can see, they're kind of clipping here. And usually what we do when we walk is we try to avoid smashing into our feet. So let's get a little closer here. And we definitely want to straighten out her foot here. So as she passes, she's not going to like hit her foot. Another thing we need to do is give her some weight. So usually what happens when we land and these reference images are um, kind of, there you go, that's better. Uh, when we land, we actually have some weight to it. So we're literally just kind of, we're tripping, but then our feet catches us. So we have, so right a few, like basically two frames after this one, we actually want to make her foot land flat. So it should be flat, like here. So right now the translate is all zeros except for this one. So I'm gonna go over here, two frames in, let's do just the rotates then. And then hit S. So what we're gonna get is, boom. But it's not just keeping her foot flat. She actually has to land. Like she stretches as we're stretching to get to get her foot to land. And then she actually puts a little weight on it and then lifts. Right? So we actually land. And let me move her foot forward a little bit like this or her hip. And we just want to make sure she's got a lot of weight. Let's give her a little extra weight, a little bit more forward momentum. Just want to make sure that she lands okay so this one's looking kind of she's not in the middle there she goes so now we've got a landing right so this is kind of nice because she's going to reach out and then hit the ground with weight and then she stands up and then that continues on the other side so we're around 75 want to do the same thing two frames in she's actually moving forward she's gonna land grab this foot zero out the rotations we want to make sure that her pelvis and her foot control are on the ground. Right? So again, boom and lift, boom and lift. It's very subtle and very quick, but it actually makes a big difference. So there's actually now there's actually, she actually has weight now. Lift down. Okay, so now we got to be careful with what's called popping. Popping means that if there's anything that's really jarring that doesn't look smooth. So for example, I'm trying to see. Okay. I think the issue is I'm going to select all of my controllers just to make sure that 75 and 107 are the same. So again, 75, middle mouse and drag all the way to the end, 107 and keyframe. Oh boy, it thinks I'm trying to type one S. Uh, let's see. Click here, middle mouse and drag S. Oh boy, come on. All right, try that again. Select everything. Hit this, S. Okay, I think it's a little smoother. Cool. Uh, one of the things that I haven't done is uh, get these uh, knees to be closer together. That also is kind of like a cute little feminine thing that you can add. So I'm going to bring her knees together and just hit S. They don't really go anywhere. 
unless her knees like hit each other. So I just kind of keep an eye on her knees not hitting each other, but it looks like that's going to be okay. And there's a frame here, so I'm deleting it. So it should really just be these knees. So I'm just kind of checking for popping. There's sometimes these things called popping. You see how that back knee is just suddenly has a very sharp move. Everything's pretty smooth and then suddenly pop. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I got to figure out where can I fix that. So it's probably, she's her pelvis is probably a little bit too stretched out. Or her root. So I just want to make sure that she's not too, there it is, that looks a little better. I just want to make sure there's no crazy popping because then it's very distractive. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks a little better. Okay, cool. All right, so one last thing about the foot, and I know these are very subtle things. So she literally has a rotation in this direction. So I want to kind of keep it. So what I'm going to do is middle mouse on drag and instead of clicking S, I can actually do shift E and that would only keyframe the rotation, which is what I want because what I want is for the foot to actually be rotated. So again, if I middle mouse and drag into let's say 84, it keeps that keyframe information of 77 and if I do a shift E, it will animate just the rotation, which is actually what I want. I don't want the translate or anything else. I just want the rotation, except I actually do want it on the floor. So let's see if I can get it to go back to the floor. So let's go zero and zero. And then, okay. So that was kind of dumb on my end. And then just hit S, okay. So I just want to keep that simple rotation because suddenly her foot gets straight again. So I got to make sure that I keep that rotation. So it's seven, negative seven. So I'm going to go over here, paste that, hit S, go over here, hit S, and then that looks good. Okay, cool. So cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, her head. Um, usually we try to keep our head straight, so we just have to kind of keep an eye on her rotation. We also rotate our bodies a little bit. So as our arms swing to one direction to the other, so does our shoulders. So we're gonna grab our shoulders, and you'll notice that we have, we need to kind of swing her shoulders to the depending on where her body's located. So if her left arm is moving forward, you want to move her shoulders forward. Hit S, middle mouse, and drag it all the way to 107. And then we're going to go to 92 and do the same thing, just kind of rotate this the other way. Hit S. At 84, she's basically standing still. So this kind of helps more her, her fluid motion. think she's moving too much around here so let me just push her leg back and let me look at the front view so because we move the shoulders we now have to compensate the head so now, because this shoulder is moving forward, I'm going to move the head forward. And if I go back to this one, I need to make sure that her head moves forward. So again, we're all about checks and balances, where it's always about balancing and keeping our eyes steady on the target. So I'm going to move this down a little bit so it looks like she's looking at something. It looks like she's got a keyframe, so I'm going to just delete it. Right click delete. So I want to make sure her eyes are down here. Okay. 
。OK， cool。Now that we have that, before we step through, we actually—I know there's a lot of details when it comes to the foot. Before we actually lift our foot, we actually bend it. So we have—that's where we created the foot roll. So at 77, her foot should basically be flat. So I'm going to keyframe that. But at 75, we should be using our foot roll and just kind of bend it a little bit. So that's going to give her a little bit of that intersection. So again, middle mouse 75 all the way to 107. So that when it's actually, so it's going to look like this. It's going to bend as she's going before she takes a step forward. And let me do that here as well. And then it's going to straighten out and then she's going to land. So same thing for this foot as she's here, two frames in, her foot roll is going to kind of roll a little bit. And then straighten out. So it's one of those details that we don't really pay attention to, but it actually helps make her foot look realistic. So we're just kind of taking a step in. Let's see if it captured this though. So that one we have. This one's a little bit more subtle. So again, there's a lot of things going on with this foot, but you can see that it's got weight. It's got, yeah, okay, cool. All right, so that is the basics of a walk cycle. I Hopefully you guys found that helpful. As you can see, we still need some painted weight issues, but our character is basically coming to life. She's walking around, she's got weight. Uh, let me get rid of that little hop and skip, 106. She's uh, she lands on her foot. She places her foot. She's actually walking. She's got a nice little swing on her hips. She's standing straight. She's got her arms are rotating, and you know, to believe it or not, there's so much more you can do with this. You can actually do uh, her fingers should probably be animating. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do, but hopefully this gives you enough of. Let's see, 105. I feel like there's a really big skip. Yep, there you go. That gives you a, hopefully some invaluable information about animating, especially when it comes to animating a, um, a character. I hope you found it useful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I really hope you enjoyed it. And of course, leave a comment below. Don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you can watch more tutorials, get free ebooks, and so much more. There's a lot of free resources for you there. Uh, again, that's academicphoenixplus.com. And thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing your animations. So I will see you next time.